Hello. Guess where we are? Any Walmart parking lot. In Bozeman, filling up with some groceries. The water thing didn't work out as we expected. It was so small, it was made for like these one gallon water refills. Check out this fifth wheel behind us. I don't think I've ever seen a fifth wheel quite that long. That sucker just keeps on going. So long that they can't even really fit in two complete spots. We can barely fit. In fact, arguably, we can't even fit, and we're only 30 feet. Not clear. What are we, like halfway there? More than halfway there. More than halfway there. Everywhere. Jalapeno flavored party size kettle cooked Lay's chips. The new standard for snacks on the road. Because they're good. The last ones I had were actually quite hot. If you like hot chips. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get the girls back in the truck. Let's go. Good? Yep. All right. We've made it to the Carbella BLM area, right next to the Yellowstone River. This place is super cool, completely free, but we have a really nice picnic table right there, fire pit right there. And as you can see, wide open land. We're, we will have tons tons of solar not a tree around except for these but these aren't going to block our solar so this i think is going to work out really well the yellowstone river and up there we have a boat launch area so there will be some activity from time to time right there which is right next to us but i don't see it being a big deal especially because this is a monday and um people might come out next weekend or something so we'll have at least the full week where things will be relatively quiet but i'm going to go up there eventually and check out the access to the lake because uh, that looks really refreshing and of course i'm going to take the dog with me the big one and last but not least this is what about 20 minutes from yellowstone 30. north entrance 30 minutes from the north entrance of yellowstone so we're going to check out a brand new area of Yellowstone that we have not yet checked out. We were on the west side um, a couple weeks ago, now we're on the north. Whew. It is windy out here because a storm front is moving in. Um, yesterday it was 86, today it's supposed to be 84. By Friday, the high is 49, with possible snow predicted on Saturday. Yeah. Finally, it feels like we're in Montana <laughs> instead of Arizona with slightly cooler temperatures. It's been in the mid and upper 80s pretty much everywhere we went um, in the Northwest. We were trying to escape the heat, and we did to some degree. It's obviously cooler than Arizona was. Everything is cooler than Arizona was. But the highs in the 90s and 95s, weren't really expecting that. But now, I guess the weather's making up for it. But today we're going into Yellowstone North. First we're going to fill up with some water and propane, because we're going to need the propane with the storm front moving in. And we'll see how far we get in Yellowstone with all this wind. I'm not sure how much hiking we're going to do. But we'll see. We need to get our new America the Beautiful National Parks Pass, because ours expired in August. And we haven't been back in without other people who have passes since then, so we need to get a new one. Mammoth Hot Springs, Yellowstone National Park. And the road from Norris to Mammoth is closed, which is why we can get there. We can still get there from the north entrance, but you can't get there from the west entrance. So I'm wondering if this will be a lot quieter now. Apparently there's a lot more limestone here in Yellowstone North than there was in the West, which I actually prefer. If you've watched this channel enough, you'll probably know that I think that trees are overrated. I don't need trees. I would much prefer nice wide open spaces where I could see for miles. And this 
is exactly like that. It's like a big maze. <laughs> we have a decision to make. I feel like we're in Utah again. <laughs> Slightly different looking. Jupiter Terrace displays cycles of activity. In the 1980s, Jupiter Terrace flowed so heavily that it overtook boardwalk several times. It has been dry since 1992. Remember what I said about seeing for miles? The gently flowing sulfur hot spring right underneath our feet. This is one of the coolest things I've seen. <laughs> it's so gentle. But like the terraces are so neat. All formed by the water. And the calcium deposits from the limestone. It's just so cool. Sajar. Quick, Courtney, say something funny. Hi. Hi. That was hilarious again. Oh my gosh, I you're so funny. I haven't come up with a bear joke yet. A bear joke? Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? A bear. A <laughs> bear who? No, you're just supposed to run like hell. Oh. Actually, no, you're not supposed to run. You're supposed to be big and, and formidable. True. Right? And if bear knocked on the door, I wouldn't ask who's there. If a bear knocked on the door, she would not ask who's there. Because the bear wouldn't be able to respond. And why would a bear knock? Some bears know how to open doors, which is amazing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool, That's isn't it? Really cool. Apparently the rules only apply to some of us. He's the type who uh, you read the articles about where guys fall into hot springs and die because they didn't follow any of the rules. Hopefully that doesn't happen to him. but. Courtney, have we explained what this all is yet? I don't think so. So, that's the Mammoth Springs area. There's um, a lodge and a hotel and a bunch of other stuff. It's much more developed than we've seen. But that's because that's actually Fort Yellowstone. It was a U.S. Army fort that was established in 1891 because um, the Interior Department was unable to effectively manage the park. So the administration transferred ownership or, yeah or the administration was transferred to the War Department in 1886. And so they sent a company of cavalry and they created a cavalry post and then they made a full fort. Um, and they administered, administered the park until 1918 and when the National Park Service was created. So that is Fort Yellowstone. And they have the best looking post office I think I've ever seen. Beautiful post seen. office. We'll have to show them. Yes. All right, let's keep going. Wow, they're just chilling right here. <laughs> yeah, we like this place better, I think, than West. West is amazing, but North is just so different in a way that we just prefer. And to cap it off, we went out to a, what was it? What did we just- A pallet hot spring. A pallet hot spring. There was a bunch of people there and we figured they were just photographing the hot spring. But then I heard somebody count uh, 17 elk, literally right, there. right off the boardwalk. You almost, if you, could, if you wanted to, you, you could, could almost, almost reach out and touch them. Yeah. There were babies. Babies and adults. 
All kinds. Very interesting. Never seen that before. Hey, about elk. We're going to show you the post office, but we show you elk first. And here's the post office. <laughs> 